Que pasa, YouTube? Welcome back to another Bleach Brave Souls video. Now, today, it's all about getting your character from 0 to T20 as fast as possible. I mean, um, it does still seem like it's taxing for a lot of people to get, obviously, to, to T20, depending if you have a super potion drop unit, um, if you're able to complete IT, if you're able to even join rooms, if you don't have those units, you gotta open a room. Um, you gotta do, um, you you gotta ask people to join with the super pot units, or you carry and stuff. So there is still a lot of, a lot of barriers to to reach T20 as fast as possible. I'm I'm, I'm just gonna show you exactly what I usually do, in order to max out all my units. Now. Obviously, let, let, let's go to a character and let's see. Let, let me just check up if there is a character which isn't T20 yet. So characters, right? Let's get let's get this Ichigo for example. So he is basically a base level of uh, um, resurrected him, and that's basically it. Now, if I was to get him to T20, yeah, you need firstly potions. So you need. <clears throat> from 0 to T20, 2,500, oh no, 2,750 um, normal potions in order to uh, get him to T20 per slot. So that's 2,750 times 3. That is 8,250 normal potions. So I'm talking about these ones. These ones you need of their respective color for each and every slot, you need 2,750 in order to make him T20. That's not it, though. Up till T10, it's just those needed. At T, uh, T10 till T15 or T20, you need droplets and super portions, too. So droplets, you need around from T10 to T20, 2,500. Uh, so you need another, so we calculate in 2,500 times three, that's 7,500. So you need 8,250 normal pots. You need 7,500 um, droplets per slot, and you need 1,000 super potions per slot to T20 a character. And that is a lot. So basically, in total, you need a lot of, a lot of resources to max a character out to T20. Now, why would you want to max out a, T, a character to T20? Obviously, first of all, once he's T20, you get two extra bonus abilities, which you can use. That's the first bonus. Second bonus, every Link Slot unit that's been equipped to it, the, the, the main character gets 30% bonus on top of his stats except focus. So basically, he is getting a huge power boost on top of his base stats already and his accessory stats so those two are actually the main reasons why you want to actually t20 a character because it just gives a huge power boost and for game modes like it and uh, guild quest and certain senkaimons and stuff obviously having a t20 character makes your life just more easier and isn't a grind as much as it used to be. Now, what do I do usually? How, what's the best way to get these potions? The best way to get these potions is play Epic Raids. Now, let's go to the Epic Raids menu. Let me show you exactly what I mean. Right. At the moment, it's still the Yiwach Epic Raid. And playing this will actually give you, um, obviously, these spirits, uh, these familiar spirits, which you need for your familiar, and you get a lot of or, or, uh, a lot of potions. So, if you say, for example, you have a room with six potion units, um, you're looking to get a drop from 45 to 55 per ticket. So, if you're doing times five runs, you're getting a lot of lot of potions there. If you're doing, say, for example, one times five run without the Bonanza Pass. Um, say for example, five times we're just doing 50, you gain 250 potions per run. So, doing a few runs of those, doing four runs, that's a thousand potions already. Now, that's 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 very good, and that's only what uh, 20 tickets, 20 soul tickets gets you a thousand potions, and that's basically a very fast way of, of farming potions. That's actually the best way in the game. Now, apart from that, you will need to be farming. IT. Where do I find IT? Obviously, in the event section, um, go into difficult quests, and there you have your weekly free PvE IT trials. Now, in, I have only the technique one left, and here you have your weekly free IT trial, which you can do at times five 
every week until you get in i think per ticket it was 70 um potions you get actually a lot here so you just have to like if you do it without the bonanza pass 70 times 5 you get in 350 super potions every week just for playing this times one and this is basically easy this is very easy um should be able for most people uh, even new players to be able to clear this that's one way but it's limited obviously you gotta be farming co-op it so you go over to the co-op section and there you have inheritance trials, inheritance trials, and that's basically um, a way uh, that, that is actually what you want to be doing in order to farm um, super portion. So, for example, let's go for heart attribute. Let's select Nini, and she's basically a character which you want to be using for heart, which is up today. Um, if you want to be farming inheritance trials on ultra, uh, maybe you want to join a room where somebody says uh, super portion bonus only i carry or something you make your life so much easier or you just carry the room yourself for heart it's very easy with the new tybw ichigo shouldn't be having any issues whatsoever carrying the rooms um if he's at least t15 t20 or something so yeah that's that's basically another thing how do you get a lot of droplets droplets well that's a different different one i mean you get droplets also from epic raids which is actually the best way of getting droplets outside of an event where it's droplets drop times free now there used to be a couple of weeks ago or a couple of days ago even and rich droplet zone uh, drop times free where you used to get um, a huge amount of droplets and let me just go to my inventory let me just see how many droplets I actually farmed of that. So droplets, there you have it. I've got 100k of mind, almost 100k of speed, almost 90k power, over 60k heart, and nearly 100k technique too. So basically, I'm stacked for a while now. Um, but if I was to consistently T20 a character every day, obviously this will last me a couple of days only. So there's a lot of materials which you have to be farming in this game in order to maintain a certain level. And yeah, that's, that's, that's basically it. That's basically uh, the, the, the ways of getting uh, these materials. And then just go ahead and T20 a character. I recommend T20 in characters, which you actually use a lot. Uh, good units go on YouTube and check like a tier list or something. Um, which characters are actually worth it and work on those characters first and then just work on the characters you always need or use like for example a good good thing is like working on a main runner for farming pve content um, then t20 maybe a potion and super potion units then after that t20 maybe your pvp units or your guild quest units whatever uh, whatever meets your your gameplay likings more that's what you should be focusing on you will see it'll make a huge difference and give you a huge power boost to your unit too and that's basically um all there is to t20 in characters or t from from going to zero to t20 and that's actually the fastest way if you sit down like for example on one day um maybe an hour you should be able to farm enough materials to t20 one or two characters and that's basically what i do i always keep my materials stacked up so i'm always able to t20 at least two characters of the of one attribute um in case like a new unit comes out or in case i, I want to build another extra unit for guild quest like i did the other day with uh, with heart gain um where i realized he was good for the current week and i quickly t20 him and maxed him out just because i wanted to use him and he turned out to be a perfect side unit and that's why i'm saying focus on the game when you're focusing on the game focus on the characters you want to play with you need to play with t20 those first and if you've got any questions left consider joining our discord it has almost 100 members already and the links down below in the description or in the comment section there is a lot of people there that can help you um find your ways around the game and that's basically it for me don't forget to smash the like button Drop a comment down below how you like my videos so far. And as for me, goodbye.